In this video, we're going to take an introductory look at factoring out the greatest common factor. To set this up, the idea of factoring out the greatest common factor is the exact opposite idea that we've seen when multiplying something like 4x squared times 2x squared minus 3x plus 8. In the past, what we would do is we would multiply the 4x squared into the parentheses, giving us 8x to the 4th minus 12x cubed plus 32x squared. What we're going to do now is factor out the 4x squared working backwards and dividing each of these terms by the GCF, which goes in front of the parentheses, and what's left after dividing the GCF goes inside of the parentheses. Let's take a look at how that works with this first example, 4x squared minus 20x plus 16. The greatest common factor is what we can divide out of all three of these terms. You'll notice they are all divisible by 4. This means the greatest common factor is 4, and that needs to go in front of the parentheses. What's left when we divide out 4 is what goes in parentheses. 4x squared divided by 4 leaves just the x squared, minus 20x divided by 4 is 5x, plus 16 divided by 4 is positive 4. This becomes our solution, what we get when we divide out the GCF of 4, rather than multiplying the 4 into the parentheses. If we were to multiply this expression out, you would notice we'd end up with the same original expression. Let's try another example. In this second example, 25x to the 4th minus 15x cubed plus 20x squared, we're looking for what we can divide each term by. We see they're all divisible by 5, but they also all have a variable in common of x. Recall, with greatest common factors, we use the lowest exponent. So we will use x squared for part of our GCF. This means the 5x squared is going in front of the parentheses, and what's left is going inside the parentheses. Dividing the 5x squared out of 25x to the 4th, we get 5x squared, minus 15 divided by 5 is 3, x cubed over x is x, plus 20 over 5 is 4, and the x squareds divide out. We now have our factored solution. Let's try one more example that might be a little more involved with this idea of factoring out common factors. We can look at what we can divide all three of these terms by in 3x cubed, y squared z, plus 5x to the 4th, y cubed z to the 5th, minus 4x, y to the 4th. You may notice that the numbers have no factors in common. However, they all have at least an x to the first, which would be the lowest exponent. They also all have y's, and the lowest exponent on y is y squared. This means our greatest common factor is xy squared, and what remains will stick in the parentheses. We still have the 3, x cubed over x is x squared, the y squareds divide out, leaving just z, plus 5, x to the 4th over x is x cubed, y cubed over y squared is y, z to the 5th, minus 4, the x's divide out, y squared, after subtracting the exponents. If we can identify the greatest common factor of all the terms, we can factor it out front of the parentheses. And then inside of the parentheses, we will list all the terms as they reduce when divided by the greatest common factor. We can always check our answers by multiplying them back out to see if we get the original expression.